Hi guys, I'm going to show you a demonstration today of an ASUS EPC, um, I think it's called ET2203T. Anyhow, I'm going to show you it work together with Blender 3D, you know, 3D applications where you can actually draw directly onto the characters. And it's actually possible to do this with the help of a touch screen. Touch screen on this thing is not exactly super accurate, but it is okay for the price. It's actually a ridiculously cheap machine, it's a huge screen, 22 inches, and you can draw directly onto it. Okay, let me show you this. Starting up Blender, and uh, as you can see, you can uh, control Blender directly via the touch screen. You don't even have to use the pen, you can just use the finger and uh, control Blender the way you normally do. And of course, uh, when you model, you probably want to use the mouse anyway. Just as a quick demonstration, I'm going to set up some lights here. So, um, <clears throat> the OpenGL system registers a little bit more light, so we don't have to work into the darkness. All right. And I'm going to make a quick base mesh here. Just a really quick one. For the sake of this demonstration. All right. Now that I've done this, I'm going to quickly uh, UV map this. And uh, to UV map this, all you have to do is to make some seams. So I'm going to go into H mode. And I'm going to press uh, Control E to make seam. And select the mark seam. And I'm just going to roughly select this now. So I'll make a quick and dirty seam. All right. If I've done this right somehow, it should be possible to uh, unwrap this relatively easy by pressing U to unwrap. And if I'm going to my, ah, it's not perfect. But to make it perfect and quick, I can use smart protections, and then I have something I can use for painting. I've got to quickly select a new image. I've got to pack the image just for this demonstration, so I don't have to save it onto the disk or anything like that. I am going to go into the texture mode and assign this as an image. Oh, that's the wrong one. There you go, image. And use the picture untitled, as I just packed. And UV map it onto a uh, UV coordinates instead of just flat. Now this if should work. I go into texture mode, it should be entirely black, and that it is. So you can safely assume that it's been mapped correctly. All right, here's where the fun starts. I'm now going to go into texture paint mode. And as you can see, we have gotten some new texture um, features for drawing directly on the, on the screen. I'm going to show you this. This is kind of fun. I'm going to select a little bit of strength because this one doesn't have any pressure sensitivity at all, unfortunately. Uh, it's quite cheap, you know. But as you can see, now you can draw directly onto the mesh. Fun. Indeed it is. Another fun thing that you can do is that you can select different textures. I can, for example, go into a texture panel now. Say I want to work with brushes. I'm going to ask for a new brush. And now I have a texture which is a uh, procedure texture. And I can draw with procedurals. Because it has been mapped quite easily, I can draw anywhere I want to on the mesh. And uh, you probably guess already you can do a lot of things now. 
can change the colors on the procedurals that you're already working with. You could technically just load an image and use that instead. And you can use different uh, procedurals. Let's try one uh, for our crackle. See if I can find it here. There you go. Here's the crackle. Different size. continues somewhat seamlessly. So you can probably get a pretty good idea what you can do now. You can also do this the same way in sculpture mode. I'm uh, going to go into edit mesh mode. And I'm going to add multi res And subdivide a few times so I have something to work with. Let's say five times this or to do it into solid shading so I can see what I'm doing and go into sculpt mode. Here's the fun part. Let's make a small brush and not so much strength. That's not needed. And sculpt your mode. And now I can uh, draw directly onto our sculpture itself. This is where the fun starts. I could have selected symmetrical, but I'm not going to do that. Just to show you, you have some quite incredible opportunities when you work with this in 3D and directly onto the screen. It really is a different world than what you may have been used to be doing before. It's very, 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 very effective, if you ask me. Yeah, let's make one here too. So he has two ears. Going like that. And you can draw directly with the character. You can add some more details. Maybe a little bit more details. Alright, gets better and better. And a smaller brush. Not that small. Here we will. We'll make some little details there. Maybe it should be a little bit stronger. I don't have a pressure sensitivity here, so I can't really do that. You can probably see it. If I'm putting it up close, you can see it's getting eyebrows there and stuff. And uh, well, I can be sitting here and doing this forever, but you, this was just a small demonstration to show to you uh, how you can use the um, Blender, the new Blender 2.5 with all its interactivity, um, together with the Asus new uh, touch tablet PC. Call it what you want. That's it.